who am I? What am I? No. Uh, hi, my name is Victor Manuel, and um, I'm an OG of a style called punking, and I'm here to share a little bit of our information about the style I represent and hopefully some history on myself and my friends. And uh, hope you enjoy it. What is punking? Um, well, if I recall back, before it even actually had the name of punking, um, it's, 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 it's an expression of oppression uh, from us being uh, teenagers, because I am 63, will be 64, soon uh, in the gay underground clubs that we used to go to and um, it was just expressing ourselves in a situation where uh, our our existence was a crime and how we wanted to express love was against the law and a sin so being very creative that we were we just started tagging in movement and which became a dance and then later on we gave it the name punking because unfortunately punking is a derogatory uh, term and in gay culture if you ever look back into our gay culture we always take something negative and make it into a positive to uplift ourselves so punk means fag uh, and it's an insult so many times and it's still used as an insult uh, people say you're nothing but a punk or you're you know we're gonna punk you now it, sometimes it becomes a joke but uh so we put the term punking because that's what we were doing to our life through our movement that became a dance and that's what punking is expressing beauty from ugly as i say a lot now and creating art from the pain and you guys a lot you guys can relate now around the world because we're all in shutdown and with this pandemic unfortunate situation we have to be by ourselves the irony is, still being a punk and doing punking, is that this is, near not, this is not new to me. I am used to this. Just speaking, basically I punk my day. I get up, I set my standards of what I want to do, and I punk my day. I conquer my day. It also means to conquer something, to claim something, to make it your own. That's what the word punking on the positive side is. Uh, making music your bitch, if you want to say that, as a dancer. That's what punking is. What was the story? How did it start? I met my friends in 75 at a club. And the reason I related to what they were doing is because I, my background is folk dancing uh, and a cowboy, as you can see my, my my hat. I did roping and I did in folk dancing, in Mexican folk dancing, I used to do a dance called the deer dance, which I had to pretend I was a deer. So it was behavior of a deer. And it was a lot of boom, boom, boom staccato movement the interesting thing is when I met my friends uh, Andrew Tinker and Michelangelo I believe I'm getting old I'm sorry uh, when I met them at the club I saw what they were doing and I was like I can I know how to do that and so I joined in the fun the festivities and everybody had a little history of what where they came from behavior wise and the great thing about being gay in the 60s and 70s is that we would do a lot of research and knowledge uh, because we are we're in Hollywood so coming to find out that a lot of the movement that all of us were doing not only was inspired by our personal life and what we were going through but also cartoons that we liked uh, TV shows that we liked movies that we liked and uh, photography books that we liked, like The Four Fabulous Faces by Larry Carr. We all, for some reason, used to ended up liking the same things. Andrew, Arthur, Kenny, Michelangelo, Lonnie, Tommy, and myself. Oh my God, am I forgetting anybody? Andrew, Arthur, Billy Starr, which I rarely talk about because uh, I didn't know him that well. Uh, Kenny, China Doll, Michelangelo, uh, Tinker, Lonnie, Tommy and myself, Manuel. They knew me as Manuel. They didn't know me as Victor. In, gay, in Mexican culture, they only they know you as your middle name, not your first name, because everybody is Jose or Juan, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But uh, 
we just were playing. We were really playing, trying out stuff because we would get bored. Uh, the DJ, Michelangelo at the time that was giving us music, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, was the beginning song that he that he would request at club uh, Paradise Ballroom if we, if we were not at Geno's. Paradise Ballroom was before Geno's. Uh, Michelangelo would request it from the DJ Danny to play Papa Was a Rolling Stone. That was the first song that we collaborated on, dancing. Uh, Beach Black and Bingo was another movie we liked. That's where a lot of posing came from, which is Eric Von Zipper, Himalayan touch, that if you touch someone on the shoulder, they freeze, which really comes to being the game of tag. Uh, a little Abner with uh, Stupefying Jones, when she would do something fabulous and people would freeze, and then we would just scatter. That was another inspiration for punking. The interesting thing about punking is that posing was the first element. That was the first thing that we did. A lot of posing, a lot of floor work, a lot of uh, silent movie staccato movement, which if you want to do that nowadays in a film, it's called jump cut, where a frame gets taken out. And if you do that, it looks like a strobe light effect. And if you see my dancing, to this day, I still have that kind of energy of staccato jump cut uh, in my rhythm. Punky rhythm is a jump cut rhythm. There is no groove. It's a strobe light staccato effect, slow motion or fast motion. And uh, we would try things out. We would tr uh, try to do movie vignettes, King Kong, Fay Ray, and we would try to guess it. So we were basically playing. This started with a game because in reality, our life outside of the clubs was not very fun. You know, we were not accepted. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that there was, Anita Bryant was a lady that had TV commercials in the 70s. She used to do orange, orange juice commercials in, from Florida and then she came out against gay culture and wanted everybody to be condemned. So growing up with things like that and then your parents, if they found out you were gay, kicking you out. Our fantasy mentality of, art, of artists that we were went into, I guess, overdrive. And so our movement and what we did became what is punking. Main element, posing. That's punking. <laughs> well, I've answered that a lot and it's on YouTube if you look up under my name. But uh, I'm going to do it again here uh, because I'm in a different mentality of uh, giving information. I'm really going back into the original dance punking, which is what I represent. I've done a lot of work for the whacking community. And unfortunately what happened, which is understandable with human nature, for 10 years I gave a lot of information. And everybody has used my information to add it to whacking, which is not really fair. And I'm gonna break it down very simple. Whacking is the second element that is really profound in the punking style, besides the posing. Whacking, it means to strike with force. That's the arm movement that we did. Mine was circular. Tinker was the one that came up with this from Bruce Lee Nunchucks. Uh, everybody had their own way of whacking. Everybody has taken this and ran away with it. If I wanted to be really specific, about the style you guys are all doing tinker so you're tinkering so what is whacking what's the difference between punking and whacking punking is the entire style whacking is an element and we got the word whack from the tv series batman and robin boom bam boom whack in the fights in the comic books boom bam boom whack so we started calling it whacking when we would move. We would be like whack, 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 run, 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 pose, 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 whack, whack, whack. Now what is the difference between the spellings? Whacking with an H is the original spelling of the word whack. I'll put it simple. Whacking with a double A means to me exactly what the dictionary says. Really nothing. And I know that people made up the word to claim it on their own. That's okay. But if you really break it down, 
Punking is the entire style. Posing is an element. Whacking is an element. And what I used to call the evolution is really based on an element. It's not even evolution. It's just based on that element. Uh, yes, it could be an evolution. But then Wacky with an H is also an evolution of the original punking style. Because it's based on an element. It's just an element. It's like voguing. If you are doing vogue and you do duck walk, and everybody's go, it's like, oh, I'm doing ducking, I'm doing ducking. That's how much is separated, which is very unfortunate. So I'm stepping away from everything that I've done in the past 10 years and going back to only punking. Uh, the great thing about punking is that you have all these elements to express from. You have silent movies, which is the history. Disco music really had nothing to do with punking. It just happened to be around. Uh, so that actually is for whacking. You know, they used disco. Go for it. But then again, if you use a certain kind of music, you get stuck in that era. And punking is about freedom. It's about expressing from oppression that you are living. Because you're really claiming your day. You're making your day your bitch. And that is the difference between punking and whacking, whichever way you spell it. Original spelling was with an H. And um, then there's the other spellings. And for me, anything you do with this style has to have a G at the end. Because, you know, we were, not, we were not illiterate. We were very smart. We were incredible artists. We could sing, we could dance, we could draw, we could sew clothes, we could, you know, paint. It, 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 we, it, we were artists, oppressed artists. The only reason we went into a physicality is because the clubs allowed us to dance. So if you don't put G on whacking, ING in the English language means to activate. You're eating, you're running, you're smiling, you're punking, you're whacking. Then it doesn't become an activation of whatever you're trying to do. If you're going to be very specific about the spelling as well. So I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Uh, but it'd be nice if you guys all started doing punking because what's happening is our gay culture, what we went through as gay boys, is getting lost in the original style of punking. Not in the element or the evolution or the based on the element. It's getting lost. It belongs to the gay underground gay culture boys because we were all gay boys they were expressing ourselves in a wonderful way that you guys now know it is punking, which is the original name. Because uh, I know I tend to ramble and, and, and I don't want to add more confusion than it already really is. Uh, I'm going to be a little more clear about punking. I was brought back in 2009 uh, knowing that I'm the last one left of the original style. I'm actually the last link, which is unfortunate. And so what I want to make sure you guys understand is that punking is the original name of the entire style, the entire dance. Uh, there is the posing that nobody really gravitated towards using the word posing. Whacking was easier to use because it was friendly term to use because punk still means what it means. So what would be really cool, and I want you guys to understand that if you guys start using the word punking, it's not going to undermine what you have done already with whacking. You're just embracing the entire style and giving respect to the gay community of where it came from. Because within the gay community, we need to have validation of originalism of how things happen, as you would in politics or you would with art. Uh, you wouldn't do you do it with music, like what's the, who's the original person that did this, or who's the original uh, orchestra that played that. So by using the word punking, and I would really appreciate it if you guys start using it, you're basically just giving respect back. Sorry. To our gay culture. It really is easy. I think we deserve a little bit of respect. I think my friends who are always on my mind, deserve a little of respect. I know there's people out there saying, 
and mentioning the names of uh, my friends and saying that we were whackers. But I would truly want you guys to understand that, first of all, they should know better and know we were punkers. All us originals were punkers. For me, whackers are people that learn the dance. But now, whackers are people that are just doing an element. And punking is the entire style. The entire original gay culture style that we did as teenagers. So I hope that helps you guys. And happy holidays. And happy new year. And let's all just unite. You know what I mean? And start giving respect to each other in urban dance. Especially the way the world is right now. The climate and politics everywhere. And um, let's go back to the art. Because if you really think about it, making this political is never a good thing because art, politics never support art. So let's go back to originalism in art. Bah. <laughs>